Peace and love, ladies and gentlemen. You are now tuned in to your favorite show, Featured, and I'm your host with the most, Kush Tucker, with my fellow co-host. Mike L., peace and love. And today's very special guest is K Major. Got K Major in the building, y'all. What's the deal, PTX? Y'all. How you doing today, brother? What's y'all? Just woke up. Good to have you. Good to have you here, guy. Today, K Major is promoting his latest single, Why You Say That. Why You Say That. Let's get straight into it. Said you got a nigga, why the fuck you even type that? Said you got a nigga, why the fuck you even type that? Why the fuck you even type that? Said you got a nigga, why the fuck you even type that, bitch? Why the fuck you even type that? I don't give a fuck about your nigga, what I type back. I just give a fuck about that, nah, nah, that's my life. That's my life, man. That's my life, man. Yo, nigga, trippin', beat his ass in crocs, I'm wearin' all black. I'm always wearin' all black. Baby, where your toes at? I'm a demon, baby. Oh. Ain't nobody tell me about your major. <laughs> Y'all want to hear the best you got to go? Download and stream. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where can they find you at? Where can they find you at, baby? Uh, they can find me on all platforms, YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, K-Major, 2 A's. Oh, good, 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 good. So what's the, what's the inspiration for this song, man? We listened to it a gang of times. It was, it was a very interesting song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got females that I hit up, you feel me? And they, they got the audacity to tell me, like, they got a nigga. And they will still proceed to fuck with me. And it's yeah. like, to me, it's fucking up the, the vibe because I don't give a fuck that you got a nigga. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Why would you like, even give me the number? Yeah, like, Exactly. I feel you. So, yeah, I'm like, you feel me? I'm just going to make a song about it rather than <laughs> yeah. rather repeating myself. Like, yeah, you really. got a nigga. Why the fuck you even type that? So, I'm going to just send my little shit. Like, blue. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally, totally. <laughs> I love it. It's, like, it's player. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm so, it's so, you're saying song. it's an actual response. <laughs> right. I'm no pimp, though. I am not no pimp. That's why I said player. Yeah, yeah, player. Just, yeah. We get you. We get you. We get you. That's we the max stuff, though, to be able to feel me, create the vibe. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. like, nah, I ain't finna keep on repeating myself. I'm going to lay it down one time. Play track three. Feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how I feel about this sentence. Yeah, you, you know. Sent me. Mm-hmm. Why'd you send me a link? <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah. Sent her a link. Yeah, yeah. Directly to, to know. track three. Yeah. She needs re education. She needs re education. She needs right re education right now. <laughs> send her a link. She nah. That's the wrong move. <laughs> now take us through the song. Keep taking Because see, it, okay, I like, like the hook. I was about to get into the to the um, life snack. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Like, well, did you say light snack or that's yeah. my life snack? That's my light snack. Like, feel me a little light, light, light skin, red bone. Type okay, 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 see, okay. That's see, what I said. Break it down. I said light see, snack. I light thought snack. you. I thought it was like a video game. You know how niggas be like, I need a life pack yeah, in the video uh, yeah. game. I thought you said life Shit, snack. Be that too. You know, feel me? make the song <laughs> pop. For I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Because it's a fun song. But it's a fun I love song. like it's when lyrics fast. be like that because I bet you didn't even try to do it. You were just saying it in your regular voice, just spitting. Yeah. But I love when lyrics come out where it could be like ticking as both ways, mm-hmm. like a double entendre. For sure. Because some people speak too clear, and then like you could you know exactly what it is. Yeah. You know? Now, see, now it makes sense. Light snack. I like that. Yeah. A light snack. I like yeah. Little, yeah, little yeah thick yeah. little red ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop <laughs> over to the side and you know <laughs> drop a little something off. Yeah. No, nah, that was a, now that was good. Okay. Quick little pick me up. Nah, the uh, <laughs> and he said, hey, you gotta take us through the field. But you was like, I'm a pussy breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, do that one move on you, girl. I'm the coochie breaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing major. It's nothing major. Yeah. <laughs> he said, so can they take classes on that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting good for the thirty five ninety nine a month. Yeah. Get the OnlyFans popping. Like, I feel you. The membership. Oh, I got right. you. I got you. <laughs> So, 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 so just know he won't be volunteers. Which came major's one move. Yeah. That one move that they like. Okay. That one move. <laughs> Not totally. So then that <laughs> that means all the uh, young ladies seeing this who might want to be part of that. Yeah. Can, uh, they can tap in. They can tap in for the breaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the coochie breaker. Yeah, for the coochie yeah. breaker. Please don't tell me you got a nigga done again. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that still might happen, but you still yeah. need to just go ahead and do the coochie breaker. Do the coochie breaker. You know. yeah. Also, be careful. Those women who show up for coochie breaking might be different than other women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Oh, the yeah. women signed up yeah. for that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> they definitely not regular degular. <laughs> yeah, nah, totally. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. She's got a different agenda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. She's come up. with a plan, you know. <laughs> so let's let's keep going into it. Let's keep going deeper. Cause see, the, you know what? The song is so rapid. It's it's kind of in your ass when you just. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, it no, it come on right fast. away. I'll be rapping fast. Um, yeah, I like fast beat, like but hey, simple type beats. 
What I like about it is that it don't take too long for it to drop. It gets straight into it. No, I get right into it. Because like, like, a lot of times, like, even my attention span kind of short nowadays. Like, I be feeling like a 30-second drop. That's a long time. Unless it's, like, some humming. Mm-hmm. Unless you're doing, like, yeah. some, oh, <laughs> you're totally. talking in front nah, of it. Totally, totally. But just 30 seconds of silence just to beat build it up. Like, yeah. damn, my nigga. Niggas, they did this. But this the OJs it's or Marvin Gaye. Like, no, nah, it is. It's it's like, nah, it is. It's paranoid. It's a bunch of shit in it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of emotion in it. Keep it real with you. We listen to it again this morning. We listened to it about five six times last night and we no, said no, you can feel the tension in yeah, it yeah you can feel like, the tension in it like with the lyrics that you wrote to it you can feel like her tension in it cause she's feeling like she on the edge like oh I'm creeping around I really shouldn't be talking to you K Major but wow. like <laughs> and then you kind of feel like I really want to hit them skins why are you playing around but why are you putting a, a wall between us why are you mentioning yeah, him with this this, I didn't ask you this yeah now it's, it's a good story man I, I, I can see it being a good animatic man you can put this or, in movies yeah like, yeah. I would holler at the beat maker. I don't know. Did you make the beat yourself? Mm-mm. No? Okay, okay. Yeah. I it's, don't know how to make beats. No, nah, it's a good tension. It's, it's right got now. good tension in it. Okay, okay. Band lock. <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your shit. Band lock, that's my shit. I've been using that for three years. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Fuck with it. Everybody got something that they uh Band Lab sponsor them. Yeah, he's, I, loyal, he's loyal. I've been using the they program don't sponsor, for three they don't sponsor years. Sponsor niggas like me. I, I think I talk to like too much weird shit or too much bad shit. Or something like that. <laughs> well, don't say that. I mean, nah. you know, maybe they just haven't heard the right song. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. You know, show they them hear some, this song. This yeah, going to a movie or something yeah. or a video game. They gonna be like, <laughs> feel me? K Major, we need you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never know, man. You K know Major, the coochie breaker. And Grab uh, that coochie and foil and save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we we got to ask about the doodle box. Is that the yeah? Uh, what's the doodle box what mean? I said, I said, give me good pussy. I start acting like a doodle bop. Y'all never seen a doodle box? Nah. Okay, nah. The colorful niggas. Well, it was a kid show back when I was a kid. Was okay, like okay. That's crazy. Okay, so you okay. Said doodle it was like, bops. It was like silly doodle characters. Bops. I thought you said box. <laughs> So like when you said the doodle box, I was thinking like, oh, yeah, no, I said, Get ain't no, y'all act right, goofy like a noodle bop. Okay, doodle oh, bop. They can okay. look that up. They go see the little silly characters on Bros. Oh God. But see, that's <laughs> we'll good. We pull that's, it up right here. Well, that's a good lot of like, good. We'll imagery. have Andish edit it in. Yeah, we yeah we can have it edited in, man. Yeah. Cause see that now that's good. That's that way good. they can know the doodle with, with the doodle bops. The, doodle bop. Yeah, I was like, say doodle box. I was like, so now nah, because we was like, you know what, man, we gonna get clarity. That way we not yeah. pretending <laughs> like to we know. know. I wanna know. I want doodle know. box. I mean doodle box. <laughs> 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 My fault. <laughs> nah, ain't no fault, nigga. Uh, for real, nigga, that was funny. That was a good one. <laughs> I'll be funny, like, on accident, too. That's the coldest part. Like, it's bad. Nah, nah, that's your nah, that's time. the best way that's to do it. That's time. It's it authentic. When, when you be trying to be funny on purpose, sometimes it don't work. Unless you're a real comedian. Like, yeah. Yeah. and, like, from what I see, like, you got to, it's a lot of strategy in that shit, like, I heard Cat Williams interview. It's like a lot of shit you got to write down. Mm-hmm. It's just about pretty much like if you write your music. All right. Do you write your music or do you freestyle? Uh, I used to write. I'm more uh, freestyling now. I feel you. For sure. So you punched in on this one? Mm-hmm. It had that feel too. Yeah, no, it did. It did. It had that feel like you had a lot of fun just. Yeah, yeah just yeah, making I'm going to put this together. It sounded like you were solo there too. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. You just at the For crib? Sure. I recorded my car. Okay, okay. Windows up, doors closed, yo. Yeah, yeah. I feel you get it done. Yeah, get yeah. it done. Nah, I feel you. Nah, bro. Me. nah it's a good song, man. It's fun. Oh, it's God. pushy. Yeah. Nah, and like you said, it's got this certain like it's provocative. Yeah, because you you kind of <laughs> pinning her down on what this is about. Yeah, yeah. now they know what it's about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You <laughs> pinning her down. You running her down. Like stop this bullshit. Yeah, you know. What I'm <laughs> you already gave me never. Yeah, totally. Let's get to it. Bro. Yeah, why we playing? Yeah. So what else you got on Horizon? I know, I mean, you you sharing this one today with the public, you you know. Uh, so I do got two tapes coming out, August sixteenth. That's my birthday. I'm gonna be twenty three. Ah, good for yeah, you, bro. Yeah, good for you. Leo Gang. It's gonna be called YX. So Y is one separate tape. It's gonna mm-hmm. be like a whole bunch of dark shit, but X is gonna be like a whole bunch of toxic shit for like you feel me, the females, the toxic yeah. niggas and the toxic females. So I got you. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Good. That's gonna be good. Fun, bro. Good. Good. You I'm, definitely I'm, release it, like, tell everybody about it at your next performance. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That, I don't know that, if you're going to be performing again at Open LA. Y'all should check out Open LA Store, Yeah, definitely too. check out Open LA. A lot of great artists. Yeah, yeah C. Mills, um, Big Steph Hef. Yeah. You know I mean? Go um, check them out, man. They great. They doing great work over there. 
introducing the public to great new artists like K Major. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So y'all should definitely check that out. Follow really him on IG. So is this um particular song connected to the project that you're gonna release on your birthday? Uh no. I'm gonna drop this song as a single. Okay. But yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah. Nah, I feel you on that. So this is something you just kind of did on the random, huh? Yeah, like pretty much everything. I, I wouldn't say it's random. It's not planned. I know it's bad to not have stuff planned, but it's like lately shit just been like it it, it go on its own, its own motion, its own course. No, nah, that is how stuff. Man. But I felt like you doing the right thing, bro. Like soon as something come to your head, you want to record it. Mm-hmm. Like fuck if like um, cause how we make music now, we don't be trying to make music based off like oh, is people gonna like this. We just make it. Y'all be writing like y'all be like. Oh, uh-huh. Sometimes we write. Sometimes me and him freestyle and then write the freestyles and we can remember anything. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. We be smoking a lot of weed right. while we making music and shit. So sometimes we might forget. But that's why we've been tending, tending to now press record on my phone and his phone when we start freestyling okay. or working on some shit like just like on that way you can rewind on exactly. the building part. You know, like just building up on it, listen to an instrumental because there's never no telling you might say some fly shit. And it might even if it's two bars or three bars, you can build off that later. You might say some bullshit to yourself, like, oh man, the mother bars is crap after the first three bars I said. But like I always believe in a good strong start off. So like when I say something good I like on the instrumental, I'll be like, Man, let me no, write that down no. as soon as possible right yeah. now. Or, you know, remember yeah, cause that. that's gonna be the rhythm of the rest of everything you write. Yeah. And that's the energy in it too. Yep. So now I'm with you. And then it's easy to get bored. There's so much media out now. Hell yeah. So I'm always, I, I pay attention to stuff to grasp my attention right away. Oh, God. Yeah, and then holds it. Because then I'm like, oh, okay, they, they're doing their job. They're grabbing my attention and they're holding it. Honestly, bro, you can make this into a t-shirt. What? The song. Yeah, totally. Well, it says you got a nigga? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, then on the back of the shirt, you can say you say you got a nigga. Why the fuck you even type that? that? Yeah. Why you type that? Yeah, that's tight. Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> good promo, good marketing. Yeah, yeah. That's tight. That's and just put your logo you can, somewhere. You can, yeah, you put your logo somewhere, okay, like on, on the shirt, like maybe on the back of the collar or something or somewhere on the yeah. front. And then like, but I would suggest doing like, like a simple print on. For me, just do like a print on. No, it's all the text. And do like, do, do, like, like the, uh, like, do like the first dozen, give them out for free. At like a show or something, just toss them out. Yeah, totally. Feel me? Totally. That should go up because then people have something connected. Like, you know, you, and you could put your QR code to the song on the shirt too. You could print the QR code. That way they ain't got to ask too many questions. Like if somebody wearing your shirt, they could be they like. they want to ask you type shit like, feel me? What's that mean? Like, it's a song. You could download it if you want to and listen to it right now. <laughs> now totally. Cause now you yeah, put your shit like super. That's super futuristic. <laughs> well, because yeah, because you, yeah. you you for for the most part now you get music pretty much for free, kind of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you want to truly download and right. own it, but you can listen to it normally oh, for free. So someone might find greater attachment to your music because they see the shirt. Yeah. Because now it's got a visual to it. It's not just music. It's got a visual and an audio. Mm-hmm. So. You know, and for those who like your stuff, which is all you're looking for, is those who like your stuff. All right. They want more of it. I gotta give it to them, man. No, no you me. totally, and only you can do it. Like know. you know, it's only you can do it. Only you can say, you know what? Uh, the people who like my stuff, I'm gonna give them this. I'm gonna all give right. them this. I'm gonna give them as much value as possible. Yeah. That way, they can really say, "Oh no, that's why I fuck with him." Oh God. You know, so he giving me major value of what I'm getting. You know, to me, that's what Nip kind of showed. He always set up stuff that was different. But it was so much value in it. You you getting a yeah. T shirt, you getting the tickets, you getting the album, you know, so then now it's an event. It ain't really just no album no more. Yeah, it's an experience. It's yeah, it's totally. He he's setting you up for something <clears throat> different. And now it's exclusive too, because only those who did this can do that now. Yeah. No, nah, totally. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and it don't matter that he didn't sell a million like that. Nah, he yeah. only need to sell ten thousand like that. No, for sure. You get what I'm saying. Ten thousand gonna turn to a million. No, totally. For sure, for sure. You know, because the other million people that didn't show up, like people love exclusivity. People love to feel like I'm part of like a little secret club. Right. Like yeah. you can't get in here, nigga. It's VIP. You feel like a like, ones <laughs> type shit. Like you feel me? Yeah. So like, like to feel that close, they like hell yeah. Like Dave Chappelle do it. I'm Think about how he put his time, concerts like, together now. Next time, the opportunity. Do Netflix. That's why he start calling it proud to pay. 
Yeah. Because people start looking at it like as an opportunity to pay that man. Mm. Like, man, it's an opportunity to be part of it. Because that's what it really is. As you start to build your value up, it's an opportunity to be part of somebody like history and legacy, what they building. Totally. Even if it's minute, like a minute role. Like you mm. just there in the backdrop or something. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a supporter. I like, I like the term partners better than customers. Yeah. I like partners better. You know what I'm saying? To me, it sounds yeah. like we more having a, a good, nice relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's but, actually deals being brokered. Yeah, totally. You know I mean? <laughs> Everybody who buy your shirt, buy your album, supporting you. Yep. So that's a partner. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> that's a for partner. Sure. That's, a partner. <laughs> that's a partner. Yeah, it's, them. yeah totally. So, you know, I've, those changing words are important. Yeah, even know. for myself, I definitely want to figure out like, how to, like, do splits with, like, um, the partners, like the the listeners and people, like the people that download your music. I yeah, how can we all play a part in some of the money? Yeah, as well know. as all of that. That like way, you get first download on it. You got access to getting this much percentage from the song. Some, I think they said you could do that, like with the crypto, back like a little minute ago. You remember yeah. that? I think you can. I think you're right. Or a bit, something like that. Yeah. You know, so this is so much more at our disposal now. Yeah, nah, it is. So you man. can set There's so up. so many avenues to get the money. You just got to watch a tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Just watch it, look it up on YouTube. YouTube University for sure. Yeah, Plus oh, you can, yeah, yeah, totally. Plus like you can that. find out. They do what they yeah, have. They, yeah. I got that from uh, Gang and Aaron. Yeah. I feel you. Nah, for real. That's why. We try to steal it, K Major. I ain't yeah, no, that wasn't me. That ain't my quote. He's nah. a real nigga for that. <laughs> yeah. Most of these, but yeah, I came up with that right, just right now. Uh, <laughs> you know. So, no, nah, that's that's what I'm saying. We we can do so much. You know what I'm saying? We can do so much. Definitely. What about you? You working on a brand? Like uh, T-shirts uh, or hoodies or socks? or? Not actively, but I do got the ideas. Like, I always had the ideas of how I wanted to look and shit like that. I just got to, like, really execute it. For I got you. Yeah. Do you have a logo already? Uh, Yeah, I do. Okay, then. My PTX logo, I had it for, like, four years now. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So you have put it on some merch before or some other stuff? On the internet, not in real life. Like, I, I seen how it would look type shit. I got yeah, you. That still counts. Like that yeah, counts. Because that, that's how you do before you print. Yeah. Hell yeah. But it's going to come soon, man. You want to file yourself an EIN? EIN? Yeah, for my uh, record label? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good, good, good. My that's EIN. good. That's good, bro. Yeah, man, just start putting it to work, bro. Like, don't be afraid to start making them phone calls. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Like... Start asking for loans. Yeah, I knew you was gonna they, say they, that. They, yeah, they start giving you business loans, bro. I'm scared of loans, for real. That's like signing yourself. <clears throat> nah, bro. I mean, what you mean signing yourself? I mean, not, like, you feel me? Like signing yourself, like you, you is. It's yourself. your record label. Yeah. Record label need money to get started. You just gotta have a, you. What you gotta have is a marketing. You gotta have a marketing and a business plan. Yeah. So that when you I get the money, I ain't saying go there and just ask for the money, yeah. bro. But like that way, you know down. exactly what to do with it. Yeah. So I'm saying I don't have one. I don't know how to come up with one. It's it's bad. No, nah, I don't say it's yeah. bad. It just means you need more education. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You need to take it, more patience, more time. Yeah, yeah, yourself. and give yourself room for that. You know but know I see, like, you you in the stage where I was at, like, when I was 20, I was just focused on just having so much fun with making the music and coming up with creative hooks and feeling just enjoying the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. You know, being passionate about that. And then, like, you'll get to a point mentally, like, <clears throat> It ain't going to be forced. It's just going to be natural where you be like, all right, it's time. Like, I done made enough records. Now it's time to figure out how do I make money off all this good music I done already made. Yeah. And, like, you're going st- to wing off from making music. You're going to start watching tutorial videos and doing just doing more reading and research. I guarantee you. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened to me at 28. I made all this music, and I had just hit, like, a threshold. I'm like, Nick, you got all this shit, but, bro, ain't nothing really reaching. Mm-hmm. It's because you need to learn the business. Mm-hmm. You yeah, the business, the business part of it yeah, is more important. The business important. part of it, like you know, how's music really get out there? The marketing, yeah, you know, how do you get paid? How do you get, how do you get a loan for that type of company? Yeah, what do they want to see? What really has to be there? You know, because then once you do that, you can operate more freely. Yeah, you're not you, your mind's not going to be fixated on I don't have the money. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got to pay the money back, and there's a payment every month. But that's really how everything works. Here. Right. Yeah, they like that's why like, ain't nothing to be afraid of. Like nah, everything's a payment. So, every so if month. they gave you two hundred and fifty k, yeah, you would already have plans set up to where that's gonna go to this. That's gonna yeah. shoot this video. That's gonna uh, a certain amount of money is gonna yeah. make back the money. Some of the money that you spend. So you yeah. that's the, whatever you plan for that. That's probably gonna be what you use to make them payments back on it. Feel me? And what some people do, they'll get a loan for about like. Like two hundred k, and they'll take out like half of that, feel me, mm-hmm. and then put it like maybe eighty percent back yeah. of that half. Just to be safe on the safe side. 
Well, yeah, because you're kind of operating on lines of credit. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you 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 using it for necessities. So if you got a car note and you doing that, you're gonna pay your car note with it. Right. Yeah. You know that's how you able to run around. Now you ain't gonna live lavishly. That's what most people do. They come in and meet. They try to do it right away. Yeah. Well, you gotta wait like five years to live lavishly. Well, you might need the Maserati for the video, but you just go rent it for the day. Yeah, just rent it for the day. You go rent the jewelry. For yeah, the you day. ain't gotta lease it. Nah, you ain't got to have ownership of it to to get access to it. Yeah. Shout out my boy Orlando. He got all the uh, exotic rentals. Go hit him up. Oh, Orlando, oh, for my, sure. I'm a holla at Orlando, definitely. for sure. We'll, be, we'll definitely be here. Got the exotics for the low. So, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So, But maybe your friend does it as a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to dedicate to that, that's different. But if you just, let's say, like everyone here is a performing artist, mm -hmm. yeah. you don't necessarily need to own a Lambo. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just rent it for the day. And they sure, just, they just need to see it. No, totally, because it's, it's for it's part of the video. It's part of whatever feeling you're trying to give through the video, mm -hmm. video of what's going on. And how people' perception is is like they see you in it. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. People don't second guess like unless someone tells them like you know that's his cousin's Lambo. Like, <laughs> yeah. But most people gonna be like, man, that nigga fly. That nigga got a Lamborghini. Niggas ain't questioning how you got it or nothing. Yeah. No, Especially they, if they no. strangers, they'd be like. He, He's a rapper. Why wouldn't he have a Lamborghini or a Ferrari yeah. or some shit? He's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming up, damn it. <laughs> Someone's giving him money. I don't know who it is, but God. Isn't that what them. they do? Don't <laughs> yeah. they come up? <laughs> no. no. We come up for sure. We come up. You get what I'm saying? Oh, so, nah, that's... But that's been the... Those are just things you got to learn, man, and experience, man. I mean, how I feel about it all now, it's like, it's all pretend. It is all can be rebuilt. It, like, everything can be solved with a little letter of the claim. Like, all type of shit, bro. Like, it's so simple. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. A lot of like, it is muddled. Yeah, it's not really complicated. Yeah, it's complicated thinking, but not actual complicated moves. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? It can look so simple to you. Like, that can't work. <laughs> oh God! There's no way. Someone bring me something with a hundred steps. <laughs> not for sure. You know, because someone hand you something with ten steps, she's like, "Nah, that's not gonna work." Yeah. Like when people first told me like how to get rid of um like debt collections and stuff, I was like, "All you gotta do is write a letter, and send it off." Letter? Yeah. I was like, "That's that's wild." Cease and desist this shit. Yeah. I was like, no. "That's not me." Yeah. I never bought that shit. Yeah. I never invested. <laughs> Not it is like what else can they do like like you said they not finna keep on going back and forth with you yeah. about it's not you but they don't really truthfully the they second, don't second parties don't have a right to do nothing with your shit yeah once the first party discharges the debt that's it's gone yeah so the third party person is totally in like some type of breach of law you don't have no no signature with them no contract no yeah nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like three really things that have to be present for you to have a contract you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. and they don't have none of those because they bought this, they bought it from a, the company who you defaulted on, whether it be a credit card, a car, whatever. It don't matter. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, but these are all the things you got to be open to learning. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So and, and keep going forward. Oh yeah. So you gonna do an album release party on your birthday? I would like to. I don't ever throw no parties because I'll be thinking people not gonna come. <laughs> that's some typical Leo shit. <laughs> not real shit. That's, how, that's the type of shit we go through as Leos. It's August Leos. Like, I'm like, you feel me? I'm not finna go no party people don't come, bro. No, I look weird. But that's why you gotta start, like, utilize because I like, see, this is what I used to not do at your age, being a Leo too. I could, I could relate. Is that, like, don't be afraid, bro, to take that step and just asking somebody. You know somebody that markets. Mm -hmm. You know, see Mills. See Mills can help you throw that shit together. All right. <laughs> like, yeah. Utilize the people around you Be like yo bro My birthday coming up I really like to do this And figure out like How your party can help them too Like man you, you already know Yo shit here We sell some merch here Like Yeah, yeah have it, have it, I don't know how to think like that though like, I don't be thinking like that though You do know how to think like that You just You so involved with the music I feel you I, I know where you at Like It's just creative process <laughs> You over there breaking coochies, nigga. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nigga, them in headlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, full of Nelson DDT. Oh God, they blowing her ear. <laughs> put her in the headlock. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, don't you tell anyone? <laughs> don't you tell anyone? <laughs> she gonna tell everybody. You know what he did? He and I might be showing it. it. Coochie breaker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he over there. He, I'm thinking about he in his early 20s, man. Yeah, no, I ain't sure. mad at it. 22, ain't 22. Yeah, totally. He in his early 20s. Oh, God. He running them down. About to be 23? 23, man. Yeah, about to be 23. August. Yeah, 23. 
I did, I did the little um, island direction. Yeah. You know what I said? Twenty tree. <laughs> Twenty tree. Twenty tree, man. Yeah, I'm with you. So nah, nah, it's it's cool. Give yourself space, man. And then you ain't got to get it all done like tomorrow and shit. Give yeah, yourself sure. space. And whatever whatever lane you are comfortable in, kind of fuck mm-hmm. with that. But then allow yourself to say, what else can I add on? Right. Yeah, yeah. And then as you start adding stuff on, next you know a year or two from now, you'll have your taxes rolling. You'll have a gang of different stuff rolling. You know. Hey, I'm serious about that, though. About what? It's, it's not even my birthday, but I want to see that happen. What the? Man, you should holler at C. Mills about that ASAP. Like, yeah, I'm gonna see, man. That's in my head. It's you feel me? Because, like, not like you got, I'm saying, because you got time to promote it. But if you did it today and you start pushing out some flyers and start thinking about everything today, you feel me? You don't put them on pause. You don't get <laughs> too much to work. Like where I live, all type of shit. Like, I don't know. I'll be over. But well, you might no, not I'm even, saying, like, you might not even throw it. You're releasing thing. both albums, right? Mm-hmm. On your birthday? Yeah, man. Like, you got a double album coming out. Yeah, me? totally. Like, you should be there bumping the album. Yeah. So fuck it, huh? Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Give yourself a month to promote. Feel me? I don't know if you want to, if you like one of those people that's hung up on doing it exactly on the day of your birthday. No. Or like you can do it on a on like a further down date to give yourself more promotional time. Yeah, totally. Like maybe dr- like do the party on like the 20th or like the next weekend, like. Feel me? Um, bros. That'll work out. I'm telling you. I mean, y'all know what's happening once y'all get that invite, man. Once oh, for sure. Y'all yeah, know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, I, I want you to do it because I'm going to help you promote. Yeah, I'm going to share gonna, the flyer. Yeah, he's going to share the flyer. Yeah. We gonna, yeah, totally. We'll talk about it again on the podcast. Come back on here, promote it again. It's always about building more energy. Yeah, bro. That should be so crazy to me. That's to what Kendrick Lamar just did. did. People come. He, he found a, he made three diss songs. The last one was the best one. So he's like, we promoting that, making a music video out of that. I feel you. <laughs> then he took yeah. over fucking LA in the whole summer with the music video. Yeah. In the in the in the random pop up concert before the music video. So it was like all the build up, like the random pop up concert built up the anticipation for the music video. And the music video just is going viral now. That's now the cool. song totally viral, like feel me. Mm-hmm. As it destroys another man. Like, I don't know if Gemini's <laughs> are great marketers or if they just got a great marketed team. Like, cause Kanye West do the same shit. Like, because, but you know they're in the industry, so they got a good good ass team. Yeah, good feel ass. me. So but the motherfuckers both. is creative, it's, but it's both. Too. Like it's both. It's, they have. Because I definitely they have a feel team. like their own mental intention in in their plans. I can feel it. You yeah. know, like. But then it takes a team to pull it off. Yeah, for so sure. So they might have a great idea, but then they might need uh, secondary people who say, "Well, look, we feel your idea, but this is what we can actually do in reality." Mm-hmm. And then we need to do it like this. Then you have people, like you said, who setting up launches because mm-hmm. you're getting people's attention. Because you, the real thing you fighting for is more focus. Yep. And focus. there's a bunch of other focus, people. Nigga, yeah, focus, focus for real. So you you getting their attention here and you walking them up. You walking them up the yeah. stage. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's brilliant planning, man. No, for it's real. It's brilliant planning. It's all about how you roll it out and shit. It ain't hard. Like, to. But what, it's all about what you ready to dedicate to. To yeah. You know, like what matters most to you still. You'll know because it's what's on your mind all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you that know. is real. It should be on your whatever's on your mind all the time telling you what your priority is. And so, yeah. And it ain't right or wrong, but is it's it true? Is it in alignment with what you say you really want? Like if you're trying to bring stuff into existence mm-hmm. through your music or animation or whatever you do, t shirt design, any of that. Even yeah. if you're a writer or business person, still, you got to take a certain amount of focus that. It begins to hold you just on that so you can take it to completion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? in a world where you're distracted a lot <laughs> you feel me you know so it ain't like it's just easy you know what i'm saying it's not hard either it's just right. keeping it in memory that man i gotta keep my mind on this oh god you know what I'm saying? i gotta keep my mind on this and keep working on that you know oh, and then god. after a while you won't have to do it it'll just be like you get up and you know what you're doing you know man that's tight man it's going to uh, PTX, man. I want to know more about PTX. Definitely. Did you um, come up with that by yourself, or? No, I came up with it with my boy uh, Torres Michael. He's a YouTuber now. Okay. Yeah, we started uh, rapping together before he was doing the YouTube. And uh, long story short, we was coming up with a rap name. We was knowing it was two of us, so we like, we need a group name. So we made this song, and I said some shit like, no, we not bang bros, little baby with a pipe team. And I'm like, shit. Well, we already said it in the song. This might as well be our name, Pipe Team. But then Pipe Team was, like, boring by itself. So I'm like, yeah. we're going to throw an X behind it. So 
Mm-hmm. Pipe Team X and then PTX. And yeah. Nah, that's tight. That's how that came about. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's tight. Man, you ain't lying. Like, the X adds a, yeah. the X factor, like BMX. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. Nah, that was smart. That's PTX. smart genius marketing. See, you can do it. You talk about, I don't know how to do that but shit. It's not accident. That wasn't like, you feel me? It was like, nah, but all of it's always a accident. It's always an yeah, amazing dog, download. You know, yeah, yeah, totally. Like, it's, it's non linear. You feel me? Yeah, accident yeah. really ain't accident. It's really your purpose. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, totally. It's just sometimes you can't see it that way. You know, you right. might not be in alignment to see how it was on purpose, but you got that download, nigga. It was meant for you to get that. Yeah, it maybe you wanted that answer that. 15 minutes ago. Yeah. But it's here now. Right, right, right. Oh, God. So, you know, that's the whole wavy gravy that's oh, yeah. going on all the time. Everything is wiggly, nothing's linear. Yeah. So, you know, now that all counts. And see, maybe he don't know that. Yeah. Like, like in other words, you got to, how much clapping you doing for yourself? How much, huh? Clapping. clapping, yeah. How much clapping you doing for... As far as me big, being my fan? Yeah, oh, for yeah, real. Like making yourself fan. up. I'm my biggest fan because I, I got to remind myself a lot that I make music. When I first started making music, I was making it for myself. I wasn't making it for Apple Music. I wasn't making it for SoundCloud. You just making, I was making it just it for, for me. Therapeutically, and, like... And if thing. people like it, then it's a plus. Type. Yeah, yeah, and totally. if you don't, yeah, then that's yeah. cool because I wasn't posting it for it to be liked. Yeah. And that's kind of still how it is, except... I learned I could get some coin off of it, so I'm trying to do what I could do to get some coin off of it. And oh, God. I mean, yeah. Do my little therapeutic, whatever the fuck. So, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that's, that's, that. look, all of that counts, because everything got to have a beginning. Everything got to have a beginning, man. Mm-hmm. So, no, nah, that's, uh, man, I feel you on that one, how you get started and stuff. Is a trip, but that's what we're saying. None of it counts in terms of right or wrong. Right. Yeah. That just get started, keep going. Sometimes you jump from A to B, and then from B you think you're gonna do C, and instead you do P, and <laughs> mm-hmm. you come back and do the next. You know what I'm saying? It's all over. Yeah, it be all over. And if you don't know that, then you kind of like wiggly. yeah, life wiggly. Ain't, re- ain't really no straight line. Ain't no straight waist, um, straight steps to do shit. We nah. just been told that shit and conditioned to think that. So when we miss a step, we be thinking, oh, I failed. Mm-hmm. And so you up. quit. Yeah, nah. but nigga, the, the fuck up actually teaches you more. Like then, then you could ever know because you didn't know something. Now you know what not to do right. when you fuck up. That's why I love fucking up. Sometimes if some shit go wrong, I'll be like, okay, I know not to go that route. Now. Well, you got to give yourself room too, because otherwise, yeah. how you gonna know shit? How you know out the gate you ain't done this shit before? Yeah, if it was no no fuck us, bro, it wouldn't be no learning. If everything went off with a hitch, for me, wouldn't be no great stories to tell. No, totally. stories would be plain and dry. Oh yeah, I was on my way to the concert. And we got there, nobody patted us down. We went straight through, got all the molly and the weed through there and the liquor. And we got faded, had a great time, fucked some bitches, got back home safely, and it was good. It, it, yeah, it, so it, linear is boring. So, yeah, it's boring. It's boring. They <laughs> made it. They made it. <laughs> they made it. Wow. No interesting story behind it yet. Oh, but. God. You but if you me, got babe? to the gate and your name wasn't on the list. Yeah, it created a little uh, tension, a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, why the fuck? Hold on, nigga. They fucking up today, nigga. I should be on the list, nigga. You know. <laughs> I well, paid for my ticket. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, I'm with the band. <laughs> I'm with the band. I usually bring the drugs in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, totally. I should be at the bottom of the list, if not yeah. on the back of the page. So now you're dealing with that <laughs> tension. You figure that out. Then you get in and... Things is going good again, and then, oh, another stumble. So how you deal with that totally makes yeah, it. Yeah, how you conquer it is yeah. like the great story. Yeah. Like, now, if you, if, you, if you bitch up and you get to see this was the shit I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you're losing your nerve and everything. Yeah, you're you giving your apart. power away. Yeah, but if you go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to just trust everything is happening for me, even if it don't look like it. Fuck the fuck what you heard. The shit is, the shit is I'm here. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm going to just say everything supporting me, even if it don't look like it. You're and, fully walking by faith and not by sight. Yeah, totally. Then next thing you know, the shit will clear up. Now you yeah. got a real story. Yeah. Because this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened. You know, so. But like I said, we've been geared to look at it different. You Hell know? yeah. Well, I just kind of go with reality and some of them sayings. Like, it sinks, it sinks in, like, differently on the mushrooms, man. Like, that it's always sunshine after the storm. Like on mushrooms, thinking about that saying, I can really see it more like in a higher level. Like damn, like it, hard times really don't last forever. Like or nah, just, nah, totally. Like nigga, everything like that pain or whatever is just here to wake you up into a certain moment, into a certain lesson totally. that you're supposed to learn right then and there. Yeah. And maybe you get it that lesson, but maybe you don't really get like the the real lesson out of it. Like you know, 
until later on. Like sometimes it don't always hit. Well, normally we on pain avoidance. <clears throat> that too. So well, normally we're trying to avoid pain. Yeah. We're looking for more pleasure, and we're trying to avoid pain. No. Mm -hmm. You know. So are you you, you, you saying there's, you when there's pleasure in yeah. pain? You said you're looking for more pain. Yeah, we like pain. We got sauce <laughs> on the phone, y'all. Hey. So what's up to the podcast, man? What's good? You saucy? Too saucy. You still getting your haircut, huh? Yeah, they got the now he balling <laughs> up. He on the tread. Y'all sick. You good, bro. <laughs> Shit, man. Getting it in, man. We can't hear you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can't hear you. Shit. <laughs> he over there. Yeah, he sounds like a Charlie, uh, yeah. Charlie Brown character, like the adults on that show. Yeah, that show's funny. Man, we can't hear you. Shit. Ah. Yeah, no, but we love pain. Pain is like, bro. That's pretty much my music. Okay. I mean, I don't love it for real. Like, but that's what. No, nah, it's okay music. to love it. My music. It's okay to love it. You can be you here. Yeah, you can be you. You, can Don't, be you. you ain't got to take nothing back here. This yeah. is a safe uh, place. Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm put it back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. They leave it on the table, man. Leave it on the table. No, that's what gives my music substance. I feel like substance. If I didn't have no pain, I wouldn't have no music. For nah, me. pain does give music substance because everything ain't happy joy all the nah, time. It ain't possible. You feel me? Like, <laughs> it ain't possible. Yeah, nah, it's impossible. Yeah. If you're telling yourself that you like in some sick mental state. Yeah. <laughs> it's but I also feel like if, if someone's telling themselves the other thing too, like if like if artists is only just making music just about like it shooting niggas up and shit like that, they, they, every day not like that for you, bro. Yeah, it's gotta be a balance. Gotta could, be. You could have made a song about it was a good day eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich oh. and you got some pussy. Yeah, no, that's why I made a song about the I got pen. I made a PBJ and got some head today. I made a PB and J and got, got some head today. today. I got, <laughs> got some head today. And I did them both at the same damn time. Hey. I like the crunchy peanut butter. You know. Not the not the creamy kind. I like creamy. <laughs> Put the jelly in the fridge, not the cabinet. No. <laughs> we want it cold when we grab it. Yeah. <laughs> no. See, it's the crust off. off. <laughs> no jelly, just a jam. You know, <laughs> homemade. <laughs> nah, so, now nah, that's that's good though. Now nah, I feel you on the pain part. I feel you on that. You know, what I'm saying? and it's right. relatable. A lot of times, pain is relatable too. Yeah. You share your pain and someone else can be like, nah, even if they haven't been through exact same circumstances, it's yeah. still relatable. And it's sick because I will actually find myself getting into like bunk ass relationships that I yeah. know won't work. Oh God. Just so I could, you feel me, but we, have something to record. But nigga, I ain't gonna lie, that's a, that's a Leo thing. Yeah. It's a Leo thing, man. We we be like hopeless yeah. romantic no, sometimes. No, like, what you mean yeah. by, and like, you mean and by when I say like hopeless romantic, it's really kind of going after like a chick that we know that we shouldn't be dealing with yeah. or like, even describe make yourself it though. delusional. Describe what the bunk ass relationship would be. Bunk relationship would be like you know. No, so what he just said, delusional. Like yeah, you make kind of like what he said, like, like thinking you know, that you know she want the world and it's not, but you go tell yourself, hey, she only want me, knowing that she don't. Only yeah, want you. I got you. So you, like you usually with the girl that like the, a chick that he talked about in the song, like feel me, like why you type that? So like Leo's at least like, I didn't been through it before, commit mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. I didn't been delusional about chicks. I know like man, nigga, I'm just. Just be happy with smashing her, nigga. Why are you trying to make her your girlfriend, nigga, and take her out to eat, nigga? She got a nigga to do that for her already. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like you like that, nigga. Like, she like you enough to give you some draws, nigga, but she ain't trying to be with but you But that's the thing, though. Everybody, everybody won't change, whether you like a little slut, whatever you want to call yourself, a fucker. Everybody, yeah. feel me? Everybody won't change, so that's where the toxic part come in, so. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I feel like, you. Yeah. That is. But we've been <laughs> taught to be mad or feel bad and shameful that you won't change. But it's your body. You can do yeah, what you want with your body. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Nigga, that's yeah. why you signed up for this shit. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> As a spirit, as a you god, know. or I a wanna, goddess. I want a limited experience while the time is running out. <laughs> yeah, and I want to feel bad about my experiences while the time is running out. Everything that didn't work out perfectly, I judge myself a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's no, some stupid shit. In my life why right? would you do that? Yeah. You know, nah, you shouldn't judge yourself. You got to love yourself unconditionally because that's against nature. 
to yeah. turn on yourself. Nah, it is. So if you feel any shame, any guilt, you got to like, wipe that like shit out. It's like a balance, though. Like, I love the fuck out of myself, but I'm ashamed of shit that I did, too. So it's like, I don't know. Why? Why are you I'm ashamed of Chose it. I'm even ashamed of the music that I'm putting out because it's like, don't. It's bad. It's bad. I got, it's not. It's good music. Bad. Why is it bad? It's, it might be bad to certain people. Like, see, what you doing? I'm talking about the doing? young people that's listening to my shit, though. Nigga, you can't help it. And then they don't even know. Like, they, they won't know until they get older. Like, oh, I probably shouldn't have been listening to this nigga. I don't know. No, I don't think oh, so, no, bro. Okay, it's man. so much, yeah, bro. It's so much music out here, bro. I was how old listening to Lil Boosie? I was like twelve yeah. years old, bro. Yeah, totally. when I first heard Lil, Lil yeah. Boosie come out, I was probably about twelve, not even thirteen yet, bro. When him and Lil Webby came out, bro, and like I could have said, like people probably could have been like their music was bad, but I was loving that thug shit. I was loving the rapping about fucking bitches and feel me in a different type of way. Mm -hmm. Like then I heard from the West Coast rap. So I believe all music is just music, bro. It's always going to be some square people that's like uptight about some shit, but we ain't making music for he uptight niggas. He said titty. He yeah. said titty. Yeah. Like, I ain't making but, music for motherfuckers that's going to act like these words I'm using don't exist. Like, nigga. <laughs> just a word. Just a so word. So no music is energy. No, for sure. Feel me? So it's not just music. So this shit can get like, you feel me? So like, if you if you uh, do balance it out, start making some conscious shit sometimes. Slip a little in. Yeah, slip a little conscious shit in yeah, the ratchet shit. Yeah, I don't plan nothing that I make though. Mm. So like when I do make shit, it just be it just be random. It be random. So then just but, start but you saying do know, on the random, subconsciously I'm you do, do something. Know, yeah. Like you got a certain beat taste. You got to move out of your beat taste because that whatever beat taste is gonna create the energy for whatever you creating. All right. Feel me? So like when I listen to ratchet beats, I think of ratchet music. I even tried it one time with the homie, cause like the homie, um, feel me, J Music make dope ass shit. Shout out to J Music, he gonna be on here soon too. Um, he make great West Coast sounding beats, like shit that sound like mustard, but his own type of flavor though. Like, but he got that West Coast sound. Was what I'm trying to say. And everything like he just don't make conscious shit. Yeah. Every time I hear his shit, I be trying to think of some conscious shit. One time I took a micro. And went over his house. A micro dose of mushrooms. I'm thinking, oh, the micro for sure gonna help me think of some conscious shit. No. Nigga, I kept on thinking about pulling up old niggas' drive bys and all this type of shit. And I'm like, I don't want to rap about that. It was the energy in the music. It's the energy in the beat, yeah, like right. the beat selection. Because he was listening to Boosie at 12. <laughs> <laughs> Boosie I'm bad you, no, I'm telling you, though, it's, it's like that. Nah, it's not like definitely shit, nigga. Ice a, Cube, everybody. Hey, it's just a time period we passing through. And I don't believe that we have to. I believe, I believe both is here. Like, they, you need both music. Cause everything ain't just, just holly jolly. Yeah. Look, look, look at the you evolution stories of hip hop. To life. Look at the evolution of hip hop. Look how far it's come. It ain't stopping. Yeah. So this is one stop off. Yeah. And in another few years, some new shit will right. come through it. It'll be different again. It'll be different again. So Not I don't, sure I don't believe you should be judgy on your music. Damn there's no. a certain amount of commercial shit you got to make so you can get heard. Yeah. And there's a certain amount of if you want to do conscious shit. That you want to just share with other people, that's fine. Neither one is right or wrong, but yeah. you definitely want to be balanced between the two. Because oh, if the if the conscious shit ain't paying the bills, you, how much of it you gonna do? You feel me? And if the other Not stuff is sure. paying the bills, how much of it you gonna do? And people gonna say, "Oh, but you should." I don't make the market. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the people make the market. The, the listeners, make the, market. the viewers. You know, so that's like, the eighty five percent. That's flawed. the eighty five percent. And if eighty five percent say they love this, I'm gonna give it to them. Yeah. I'm gonna sneak a little, hit, you know, a little something in there that I, for someone in there who might like yeah. that little extra inspiration. But yeah, I ain't gonna make it mandatory. You know, I ain't forcing <laughs> nobody to do nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't gotta change. Fucking with me, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just be who you are. Shit. Yeah. Nah, fucking you with know. me, you fucking with a I philosopher. I get where you at, though. I, I appreciate that you putting it out there. Like, I know I'm making certain music that I like, mm -hmm. but is it positive? Maybe people don't even examine it's no not, shit like I that. I know it's not positive. That's why I'm like, it, it, it fuck with my head, too, because I'm like, bro, I know I got young motherfuckers listening to me, and I don't want them to, you feel me, accidentally just... But for the people that's freaks, bro, it's a positive soul. Like, somebody that... Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, for it's sure. all perspective. It's perspective. It's only a negative like, song to people that feel negative about what you're saying. Or that maybe not have not had that like experience. Like we feel positive about it. Yeah, to I me, feel it's positive. Just a song. It's just a fun song. Just a fun. I feel like that's because we're older. Like for example, when I was in middle school, I will catch myself listening to the weekend. Yeah, I feel. On bros, and I didn't have no business listening to him, not knowing that I didn't have no business. And I'm just like, I'm trying to find myself relating to the lyrics and shit. And I can't relate. I'm a little last kid, but I will yeah. try to find myself yeah, relating or yeah. wanting to relate. What does now that mean? Now looking years later, type shit. Yeah, totally. So oh, that's, that's how I see that shit. Yeah, it's got some merit. What you're saying it got some truth in it, but I don't believe it's the whole truth. Yeah, it's like you still, because as a kid, you're not paying attention to lyrics like that super. 
you just like, and when I say you're not paying attention, you don't know the definitions of words. So you just singing along with shit because the everything, the energy in the song might feel good and all that shit. And you know, this is you what's cracking right now. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, when I was a kid, like, I'm into Star Wars now, but when I first, like, my grandpa first put Star Wars on for me when I was like four years old. I didn't know what the storyline was. I just knew it was laser beams flying around. It's lightsabers. lightsabers. It's a hero. Nigga trying to save the day, and that's it. Feel me? But as you watch it more and more times, you start to get it. So it's the same thing with kids. By the time they listen, if their parents don't let them listen to their music, if they got parents that's watching over them properly, and they feel like it's negative, like, hey, you shouldn't be listening to this right now, Tommy. You're only six. Right. Like, then they going to turn it off. Mm-hmm. or shut it down. But, shit, you can't just help it, man. It's the internet. Everything out now, nowadays, like, Feel me? Most people and to the kids who players ain't tablets. regulating, they your fan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. They your fan, and they can't help it because they their parents not regulating. Yeah, they, they rather put regulate. a tablet in they, yeah. they kid here and be like, "Leave me alone." Yeah, they go do fans. something with yourself. Go they watch like, some sheah. shit. Well, they are totally. Now that's gonna always be something in the back of my mind though. That's like, damn, bro, you kind of fucked up, bro, because you know what you. So going. make some. I say balance it out, like fine, you know, start looking at different. Or big just selections. know it both has to exist. Yeah. See, to me, both things exist. Yeah. My dark you side and my light side yeah. exist. Definitely. I'm cool with it. So you just gotta let both things exist. Like in other yeah. words, a certain portion of people that just like they adult and should be, and there's another portion of people who sneak in to listen. When they when parents ain't around and you can't do nothing about that. Yeah, yeah. That's always been there. When I was a kid, I my uncle used to buy these Wild Man Steve albums. Mm-hmm. And when I say if you listen to you can listen to that on YouTube, it's filthy. It's filthy ass comedy. No, bro. I seen some shit like that on uh, Everybody Hates Chris. It was an episode like that with the little comedy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. albums just don't though. Red <laughs> Fox got them. It's a gang yeah. moms maybe. It's a gang of old comedians that really. Nah, they just, nasty as they fuck. They nasty, bro. The jokes are so disgusting. It's so gruesome. It's so gruesome. <laughs> so th- that never could have went mainstream in that time. Right. Yeah, no, for sure. But they had it, to put it just on the album. Like, yeah, it's so, you got to pay for this. So my nephew and I, would, he was a little older than me. He was three years older than me. He, he was the one that hit me to. He said, hey, man, when they leave tonight, I'm babysitting you for a little while because he's 12, I'm nine. He like, we going to listen to Wild Man Steve. I don't even know what fucking Wild Man Steve right. is. And we ordered up, ha, 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 old man. Oh, God. And then it's so raunchy. Like, I couldn't believe I was hearing. It was like my ears were just just flying off. Like, what the? To so many words. Yeah. But I'm grateful for that. Hell yeah. Because life was, wasn't the same after Wild Man Steve, and I was glad for it. Hey, man. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's, it's all perspective. You know oh, what I'm God. saying? They've also maybe, and I want to say they, I just mean like we as a society, when every time anything's new, we normally judge it bad first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and, and anything we do sometimes, it gets judged hard first. You know what I'm saying? We've been made boogeymen by some people. So no, I totally, you know, people won't just be like it's music. Right. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? they'll actually be like, "What's he? Is he polluting minds? Is he a pipe piper? You know, what I'm saying? Yeah. it's like it's a lot more to it. Like, yeah, nah, he, bro, I'm just making. He's a music. pipe teamer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> PTX. He said PTX. PTX. What's yeah, next? I want, I want a PTX shirt. Shirt, man. I feel like it could be like um, I love PTX shirts coming soon. It'll be, it's gonna be good. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. I just gotta execute. For me. Nigga, it should be like a booty on the back of the shirt getting smacked down. Of course, you know a booty. woman's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say booty. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's thinking in so general. Everyone in the world no was like yeah, <laughs> No diddy. No doodle box. No doodle box. No doodle box. Just the doodle no box. box. Yeah, doodle bops. Doodle no bops. I'm a turtle doodle bop off that good coochie. Not you a doodle box. Saying. You know. Off the hot pocket. No with, a, with, a, with a break or two. We're going to have a coochie break or two in there. Oh, God. Break it, turn it, beat it <laughs> yeah. up black and blue. You know, so. And K Major going to put her in a pretzel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I'm a virgin for real, though. That's what I'm going to be telling them. <laughs> I, I ain't never even got my chance. I'll just be talking about it, rapping about it. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my nigga reveals it on here. <laughs> my nigga reveals it on the I podcast. Never broke no coochie. Oh. <laughs> Ladies gonna be crawling in for you. So who wants to take Mr. K Major's V card? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> who wants to be the first coochie he licks? Yeah, who wants to help him out? <laughs> he said, Nah, <laughs> no, not no licking on the first go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sour power. He's like, Just stick it. Sour all that. power. Tastes like change. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of heavy metals in your diet. <laughs> He's like, you've been drinking Hennessy and smoking yeah. Newport, huh? <laughs> drinking yeah. Taylor Port. He's like, hey, yeah. 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 women love Taylor Port. Yeah, that TP, Taylor Port no been thing. blowing up. Yeah. And it seemed like an old woman looking like that only like maybe older women would know about this. Like 35 and older. 
like it's women like, my it's age. Like sangria. Nigga, it's with, it's girls his age and younger. That, girls, at talk about. I like Taylor Port. I'm like, how you know about Taylor Port? It's a little trend for me. You yeah. must be kicking it with your older auntie or something. All this TikTok shit be blowing shit up. That shit funny, man. So Taylor Port, huh? TP, yeah. TP, shit. Teleport junkie. Yeah, that mm. shit going up now. Like, out of Good nowhere. for them. Good for them. I ain't We're never all seen connected. people um, like I'm riding wine, too with them. Especially young black people, like people from the, you know, from the um, urban community. Yeah, like, yeah. like wine and shit like that. Usually, but <coughs> I ain't surprised though. Like you said, it's probably just like some mainstream shit. Because remember when um, Drake made the song talking about um, Moscato? Yeah, yeah. And Moscato went up. Like, he was stupid for that. Like, I don't know if he got to deal with Moscato. Well, Man, Moscato's he just a flavor. It ain't really like a brand. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but like, it put people onto it though. Like now everybody looking for Moscato. Feel me? All people onto Tams. Right but now like specifically, the... he put out Barefoot. Like the Barefoot oh, okay. Moscato. Then, then, then more than likely, he probably got stock in Barefoot. Hopefully, he did. Yeah. Feel me? Hopefully, he not stupid. Feel me? And he did that shit because I wouldn't be representing no brands if it ain't mine and my music really. So what? What's next, man? What's next on the horizon? Shit, I'ma just keep accidentally making this music. See what come out. Like, I like how you said that. <laughs> oh god, and, um, I was gonna keep accidentally doing this shit because it's working so far. Nah, man, you and um, you and um, EJ got some good hits with each other. Yep. That I've seen y'all perform. You definitely got some good solo music. So just keep on going, bro. The sky's the limit. Feel me? You your limit. Feel me? You know what I'm saying like shit, nigga, bro. If you ever want to chop it up, bro, I got ideas, bro. I'm part of your team. Like what we see yeah, totally. you know, for myself, what I see for myself is what I see for you and EJ and C Mills and a lot of other artists and creators that we met that day. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Is that like, man, ain't no reason why we ain't, can't put, pull together all our ideas. Right. Neg entropy. <clears throat> yeah. And then like, you know, we all put our money together. It's, it's so much smaller to get it done. It don't seem like it's so big no more. Yeah, yeah, because you might have 10, 15 people on the team. Yeah. And now whatever the price was to get it done. Yeah, it might. I ain't never had no team for real. I've been trying to get that for years since I started. But it's starting now, though. It so you starts got, here now. Of it, it starts by just communicating, them. asking yeah. people questions. See, I, it, it, you might have the same thing that I had a, a trouble with for a long time, which is asking for help. Mm-hmm. It'd be hard for me to ask for help sometimes because yeah. you be having that fear that, like, just how you say, I, I don't want to throw no party because I'm afraid nobody going to show up. So, like, I used to have that feel like I'm afraid to ask people for help because I'm afraid they're going to tell me no. Correct. Or I can't help you. Feel That's me? why I posted on my story, like, you feel me, video shoot for video shoot. Like, just record my shit. You feel me? I record your shit and edit it. You feel me? That's my best way of asking for help. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah. No, nah, nah, that's good. That's a good start. That's nah, a good start. That's a good start. That way you move out of that. And a lot of times people will be way more helpful than you imagine. Yeah. They might not be able to get you 100% of the way, right, but they right. might help you get 20, yeah, 30%. Yeah, you know, yeah, even 20, 30%. I can do everything by myself. Like, nah, I that's could. what me and him realizing. Like, you got to take off some hats. all by yourself, bro. It nah, it's stressful. Who would you meet? Right. Yeah. The whole point in this, you meeting all these great people who got great ideas that feed that onto your ideas. Yeah. And then you feed back onto their ideas. And then now you have this expansion. Right. And it's all really coming from your mental energy squirreling together. Yeah. Because I ain't going to lie, bro. I used to think way different back with my dubs, like making this music and communicating with people. I was more like antisocial. Like I could not really like just talk to people or like get into their shit. I was like so like egotistical. Didn't even know it or realize it. That I was like so into my shit. I was just like couldn't even meet people and even listen to their music really yeah because you're living in comparison and competition yeah, and competition so it's, i would go to performances yeah. and be like ready for the next person to get off the stage like whack ass shit mm-hmm. y'all ready to go perform my shit get yeah. that bullshit out of here that's <laughs> wild yeah. no for sure bro that's just wild like that's how i know like i'm a totally different person like now i show love to people like and i actually listen to their music and totally. feel me see how i could build with them see what what can we do with my music and your music yeah, yeah. totally feel me totally. like that's what it's about like, we want to make some coin off it, like you said. For sure. Feel me? And you also want to work and with people. I'm the type of person. I ain't trying to make Drake numbers. I'm trying to so make my you. numbers. Yep. I'm just trying to make some shit to where I can go buy some land, That's go right. buy a house, and That's travel right. when I want to travel. Yep. That's freedom to me, being yeah. on my own time. Being able, to, amount of concerts being able to be like, if if after we was done with this and I was like, shit. Because I got it like that. Hey, we I'm about to call him up and tell him, fuel the jet up. We about to go to Japan and okay. have some sushi in Japan real quick. Yeah. And hop back on the jet whenever we feel like. Well, you know, we do that now. When we leave out here, we just go straight into the portal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like some shroom shit, some shroom yeah. shit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the portal wet. It's just like, they show that shit, man. Everything got to do with water. 
Yeah, they show that shit on Rick and Morty. They niggas walking to like yeah, a there's a lot of hints this shit, man, all the time. Yeah. Are oh, y'all believe in the portals? Oh, oh no, sure. portals and portals is always by water. Just look at it. Like if you pay attention, like look at history, all these documentations, like the Bermuda Triangle, that's a portal. And it's by water. Most <laughs> portals, if it ain't right above or near the water, it's like within like at least like a hundred kilometers, a thousand kilometers. Definitely. Like it's close by. You feel me? Anyone else you want to give any shout outs to or you want to send people to? Because we want people to find you. Yeah. Uh, so shout out Feature. Make sure y'all keep uh, checking out the episodes. Feel me? It's lit as fuck here. Nah, thank you, shout bro. Out to you. Thank you. For real, for real, real bro. Talk. Oh, man. Thank you for showing you coming. up. Shout out to my members. Shout out to everybody who be listening to my shit on game. Shout out to, for me, everybody that love me. I love y'all on game. PTX. PTX. Once again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to your favorite podcast featured. I'm your host with the most, Kush Tucker. And as always, I'm Mike L. And you saw this first on Featured. Peace and love. Let's go. I'm blowing chronic smoke in the wind. Going places you've never been, accumulating dividends. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and your subscriptions. If you have a business or a service you would like to promote, or if you don't have one, you just want to come on the show and talk and be a guest on Featured, please DM us at Featured underscore guests on Instagram. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you. Peace and love.